Hello and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Tobias. And I'm sneaking in a quick goblin match before I have to go to work. So let's see what Yorks is playing. I lost the die roll, always a bad sign for goblins. And this hand is unkeepable. Six mana sources and one goblin. That's not good. That's a lot better. That's a turn one rebel master I'm looking at here. And that's a keeper. And a turn one rebel master is hard to deal with for many decks. Oh, it looks like he's playing combo of some sort. So I gotta be extra fast here. But I have all the necessary pieces if he cannot deal with my Rebel Master. So exile the Simeon Spirit Guide, get 3 mana, get Rebel Master. Always yielding to this. And F6. So, if he does not have a way to deal with the Rebel Master in the next one or two turns, he is in a world of hurt. Oh, it looks like he is the um, Amulet of Vigor deck. Um, oh, forgot forgot the, the combo piece um, that he's playing. Always yield to that. Attack F6. <laughs> yeah, and he basically has to go off and win this turn, or at least deal with the Rebel Master. If he does not do this, this is over. Hive Mind. Hive Mind is the combo. I'm guessing I'm playing against Hive Mind here. But I don't know. The goblins were too fast for him. I am pretty sure this is Hive Mind. Uh, I meddled with the sideboard a little bit. I don't run Skullcrack anymore because I never boarded it in. I'm running Dragon Claws in, in this position and I replaced Koth with another Chandra because I had a match which I did not record regrettably and Chandra was uh, Stella was really great in this match and I think she is better than than Koth in many ways. Okay but let's focus on this match. I did not see creatures. I don't think he runs many so I'm boarding out the dismember, dismember of course. And yes, Blood Moons. Blood Moons will be very difficult for him to deal with. Uh, I did not see any tokens. I'm not expecting tokens, so I'm boarding out the Legion Loyalist. And that's it. That should, should work. And if I can resolve a turn 1 or turn Blood Moon, this this is over. Okay, I don't have Blood Moon, but I have an interesting hand here. I'm going to keep it. Mana Confluence. Come on, Blood Moon. No Blood Moon. Okay, so. I'm playing Goblin Guide here. And I'm exiling the Simeon Spirit Guide for Foundry Street Denison. And then I'm going to town. Always yield F6. Gruel Turf. I give him a Karoo land. Okay. Come on, Goblin Deck. Give me a Blood Moon. Come on, goblins. Give me a blood moon. I need blood moon. Uh, 
Oh, he's combo of some sort. Well, okay. Here comes the Rebel Master again. Always heal to this. Always heal to this. F6. There is the Amulet of Vigor. And this is his last turn. He has to combo off now. Or he will be dead. And he probably can. Uh oh. Am I dead here? Five mana. That's one. That's one mana short from casting Hive Mind. Another Thumb Bloom. All right. Gift ungiven? Oh oh. Yeah, great. And that probably means I'm dead. I could, of course, board in artifact destruction here. Would have helped me a lot. Alright. So it's pretty unlikely that I that I draw all my lightning bolts. Um, but you never know. Uh, you never know. Okay. Never give up. It's only 9 damage I have to deal. And that might be lightning bolt fetch land. Or the goblin grenade fetch land. I don't know. Is there even a goblin I can play? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't have to drag this out. Elge Norn is beating me. And I'm boarding in artifact destruction as well, but it makes me so slow. Boarding out two Legion Loyalists for two Shattering Sprees here. Uh, that should be enough. I don't want to draw multiple artifact re removal. And that's the first game of this match that I'm playing first. Uh, no land. Here is a land, but I need to draw a second mana source for this to be good. But I'm keeping, of course. I just have to pray to the goblin gods that I will draw another mana source next turn. Or I will be in deep, deep trouble. Mana source. Thank you, Goblin Gods. Desperate Ritual. Rebel Master. Always yield to this. Always yield to this. F6. <coughs> so... Bushwalker. So let's do some math here. Bushwalker is 2, 5, and uh, 2, 7, 7, 6, and 4 attackers. 
Uh, seven, eight, four attackers, so this rebel master will be six. Eight and six, fourteen, if I did my math correctly. So, and if I don't play the bushwhacker, I get one goblin. I have, oh, I have five attackers. Five attackers. Uh, each other goblin, so plus four. It's six damage, nine damage, eleven damage, ten damage, and two, about twelve. I, I'm not sure about the math here. If I don't play the uh, bushwalker, if I play the goblin grenade, I have four attackers. That's um, two, and he five, seven, and two, nine. Still not enough, right? Huh, can he go off next turn? He probably can. So, I'm um, going for the bushwhacker. Maybe I did the math wrong. I, I have no idea. I'm not good at this. Just don't click through attackers. <laughs> That's the goblin way to win. Fail at basic mathematics, but still win. Okay, thanks for watching.